Yeah, we're gonna put a statue there. Hey! Well, it's magic stick. and sticks. Oh, right, there's there's an entire another place down here. Yeah, forgot about that. Oh, So, that's work. Yes, yeah, so this water changing gimmick is not in any way tedious. No. Nope. No, sure. Nor is it time consuming. No. Holy crap. Yep. Oh my god. Okay, we need a key to get in this door. Guess what's going to be in that chest? Money. I, I wouldn't be surprised, but. Okay, actually, I'm surprised. Oh, right <laughs> yeah! Oh. <laughs> no, this awesome. is supposed to be the easy part of the dungeon. What's wrong with me? <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see. What am I missing here? Bacon. So, while you're figuring stuff out, continuing our nice little... Story. They took a scroll and placing it on four raised pillars, they made it into uh, they made into the vault of the heavens. So basically, the skull of a dead giant's body is a control tower for the earth's function. So whenever cool. there's a giant volcano, that's some weird asshole in in a giant scroll operating crap. Which totally makes sense. Makes more sense than... Makes more sense than pretty much anything Christians come up with. <laughs> In the vault they placed the haphazard sparks which escaped from the kingdom of fire, Muspelsheim. Thus they created the sun, the moon, and the countless stars. Awesome. Good. Hey, hey, there's something magical here. I hear treasure sounds. Do you see treasure on there? Single sees nothing, he's blind. That's weird. Tingle's not helpful except for Tingle statues. Yeah, pretty much. And even those are only worth 50 rupees each. Nah, come on, you're supposed to put it on Tingle Island. Where his cousins are. Yeah. And his cousins give you 50 each. God. <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting? <laughs> this sure is a hard puzzle, though. Is that a puzzle? Yeah? How does he open doors? They're magical doors. Yeah. This is what I was thinking of. Ah. That didn't work. <laughs> That's great. But I know exactly what to do. Go get the stick? No, we're going to. Pull this over a bit, and pull it over a bit. I'll admit it's the it's one of the more fun puzzles. It's not particularly hard. I don't think there's any puzzles in this game that are actually hard. There's like one or two in Twilight Princess. There's the key we wanted. Sounds like you got another one of those necklaces. That's pretty badass. No. Anyway, while I'm thinking about at least pots, um, a recent issue of Game Informer, the 200th issue, uh, had a countdown of 200 best games ever, and their screenshot for Ocarina of Time 
had a custom texture pack that uh, I've recommended to several people that makes the graphics more like Wind Waker's. So, uh, either there was a goof up, or they're just extremely sly. About what? Well, they were using an emulator is the point. Oh. They're using an emulator and we're not using the original graphics for the game. <laughs> That's... That is... That is some cheating. Yeah. I mean, it's a really cool texture pack. I highly recommend it to everyone. It's a DGP cell mod for a period of time. Look at that. For those who don't know what cell is. Yeah. Actually, people are working to make it actually cell shaded, but for now it's just a texture modification. All right, though. Lock doors down here. Thanks, water. Oh. Hi, electric guy. Gee, there sure are electric guys here, aren't there? Rainbow stairs, nice. Yeah, it is nice. It's fabulous, even. Can you just set it down? No, I want to carry it out, though. That's the entire point. No, it doesn't. And that takes care of the first room. Okay, now I'm hearing the treasure sound and I'm not even in water. I guess it's from the, uh... Oh, come on, wait. I guess it's from the statue hit weight thing. Jump. Uh, it depends on which game you're playing. If you're playing Smash Brothers, then yes, I believe he can double jump. Smash Brothers does not count. Well then, I don't think so. The only game where... Well, actually, you can wait. You can jump in Zelda 2, Link's Awakening, and two Oracle games. But you can never double jump as far as I know. Anyway, it's Mimos. Now, Mimoses are cool. They're, uh, you they're highly right, You annoying. never played Parallel Worlds, so... I saw a playthrough. Yeah, yeah, there are a lot of... a lot of Mimos. Ow. Oh, right, I'm supposed to... Okay, there's gotta be a way to cheese this. There we go. I am taking damage to save time. It's all part of this cool strategy. Yeah. Okay, that's not that totally should work. Money. Yeah. Money. This game really does throw money at you. Does require a lot of money eventually. Yeah. Okay, get some ready for some intense platforming. Oh, nice one. Not only that. Oh, it's amazing. Man, that's some serious crap there. Anyway, there's that, but I think we need the bow and arrow to do stuff with it. Wait, let me check. Did you win anything with that? I, I didn't 
Is there any point to this platform? There must be a purpose. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Okay, I am totally blaming Link for that, actually. Oh. Yeah, it's all your fault. Oh, and the stack. Okay, platform's still working. Link of today has had a habit of not jumping as far as he should have. <laughs> 